Good morning to all the all people. My name is Chu Moon Han, and I am the presenter of this PPT, which is the title of the PPT is Pathological Prediction of a Disease Based on Deep Power Learning Algorithm. So for this PPT, there are total four had four sessions. The first here is the first session of the introduction. So heart disease is a kind of the highlight disease that will be easy get by the people at the old or middle range age. And this situation had become to the younger staff. So based on the statistics came from the WHO, 24% of total number were caused by the heart disease in India. And cardiovascular disease, CVD, which killed about 70 million people not well each year and well spread in Asia too. The database used for the heart disease research is the Cleveland Heart Disease Database. There are, and this heart disease can cause, uh, so it means that many risk factors can cause for heart disease. And one of genetic risk factors also can cut heart disease, which is the like diabetes or something can it can cut heart disease. There are also different kinds of heart disease units. Manually determine determine the heart disease require professional skill and knowledge. So they are they are have a certain hardness to train a specialist doctor and the patient increase day year by year. So means that the doctor has too much work to to too much work to do to to see more patients. So the workload for the doctor is too that deep. So the, we discover that deep learning are suitable to use based on the large amount of data of the heart disease. So we propose a deep power learning algorithm for this heart disease prediction. And there are many other methods has been used for this prediction, this prediction. And so we will do this, uh, we will compare our method with other method. And deep power learning algorithm is a hybrid system that combine of the FND with the PLS. So here is the material and method. The database used for the experiment is the Caribbean database is downloaded from the cache, which is the open source website. The data set is uh, contains 14 and 1025 instance. And in the data set are contained six numeric and eight category attributes. So here is the table show the description of the data set. Here is the sim simple structure for the original PLS and the modifier PLS. So the above original PLS, yes, we can see that we changed this maple future part, which is the first part of the original PLS to the FNT part for the modifier PLS and the modifier PLS. So the deep power learning algorithm is the combination of FNT with PLS. And this deep power learning algorithm has the, has the prediction accuracy improved from the original PLS. Why we can have the improve of the prediction is because the original PLS, the first part, the wedge is randomly generated. And for the modifier PLS, the FNT, we change to the fully connected network and we use PP to optimize the wedge. So we can this this can make the FNT can get the good feature set. And the second part of the BLS will use the good feature set to calculate that. Then we can get a better prediction accuracy. Okay. So here is the formula that we replace. This is the original BLS, which is the Maple Future formula. And the below are the formula for the 
FNT, you change through the form using the FNT formula, and for choosing the out the best feature set for the for the calculation to the prediction accuracy. So for the experiment, we unite the code of the two deep learning. We normalization the data of the data set and the value we set for the training and testing sets are 50-50%, which is 1,512 uh, and, and uh, instance for each training and testing set. The system, has, which is the modifier BLS system, has used the 14 attribute to run and the patient data we are randomly picked pick is 50-50% for, for it. And compare, the compare result of the hybrid system are used to compare with other method. So here are the two, the uh, both, uh, both table are, is show the accuracy, sensitivity, and the sensitivity that come out from the uh, deep power learning algorithm which is the modifier PLS. And the below table is the comparison of the deep learning algorithm with other methods. We can see that the actual result of the deep learning algorithm are higher than other methods. So the conclusion is the herd disease prediction can help to reduce the workload of the doctor. And the modifier PLS will propose to run this prediction by using the equivalent dataset. So, and the sensitivity, sensitivity and the accuracy are 97.3%, 93.1% and 93.7% recently. And we show that our experiment has success because we can get the highest percent uh, accurate prediction accuracy compared to others. So that's all my presentation. Thank you.